Hi, we have an afternoon love reading that is here for you. We are going to do, I'm a little bit out of the shot. I just noticed that um, I wanted to be in the shot, but I also want to see hands. So welcome back to the channel, my beautiful Libras. We are going to get into the afternoon session. So let's get started. For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, let's get into the love reading. This can also be for long distance. It can be for a situationship. The feelings are first going to come out on the table. Welcome. We got some like live comments happening too before I posted this video. I'll get back to some of you. It's like flashing again on the screen. It's so lovely. And I just saw one from Miss Cutie. Hi, Miss Cutie. Your comments just flashed on my screen here. Knight of Swords. Okay. King of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. King of Wands looks like this from this beautiful deck. It's kind of oracle-y too. If you guys like a lot of artwork, Knight of Swords, I'm just going to flash the actions. Impulsive move. Somebody messages you more too. I see here. Connection. Knight of Pentacles is previously slow. The first card in a love reading is the recent past. So I want to clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Why were they slow? Why was this person slow? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, they watched you in your Queen of Pentacles. Survive. I'm hearing like thrive here too. The Queen of Pentacles, I'm going to describe it. It's Capricorn. If you guys have Capricorn in your chart, it's very significant or it's felt by you a lot more. Those placements, look for where you have um, some of these earth signs. Look where you have Taurus. Look where you have Virgo as well. I'm sensing someone on the channel that has a Capricorn moon. I feel like this person moves slow to actually watch what you're looking for or what you were needing in a relationship. Many of them kept connection with you. If it's distance too, they love that about you, that you're ultra giving. I feel like that's a sensational part of you. Thank you very much, Justice. All right, so we still have it in the environment. Justice Libra energy, big, big Libra energy. This King of Wands is attracted to many different aspects of your persona and your personality. Okay, they find you driven. Uh, they find you complete on your own. I'm also getting something about that that's new this king of wands is attractive okay they also find you attractive this is pam greer i believe it's pam greer on the major arcana justice card beautiful i recently saw her in a movie called them it's on prime and she was there very very young i think they find you equally as attractive some of you libras who maybe work out a lot or like i'm getting something about the gym they could have originally met you there because she's wearing like really athletic gear. Why do they find Libra to be justice? Why do they find Libra to be in their own energy of justice? That's attractive because they actually see you in your own Libra energy. The temperance card and the page of pentacles started off as a primary friendship between the two of you. This person in the temperance card, they could be Sagittarian. They find that they would like to have peace and patience. Ultimately, this is about patience. Okay, coming in calmer could be what you see from this King of Wands. What do they want from Libra? What do they want? And I'm going to take out this earpiece because it's like echoing. <laughs> Tried to wear the microphone. King of Swords. Okay, so we have the King of Swords. I love the depiction of this because it's very different. He almost looks medical in the King of Swords, like he's a doctor or a nurse, or he's about to do something in a lab. They'd like to be straightforward, this King of Swords. Why is it the King of Swords still on the weekend? Why do we have that here? Knight of Cups, and we also have the Ace of Swords. This is like true feelings when I pull this. This is someone who really would like to tell you how deep it goes between the two of you. It's true feelings. Connected to the Queen of Pentacles. Those two cards are read together. Okay, I'm getting something. Just give me a second. This person wants to tell you something that they have never told you before. Okay, about emotions, about the two of you. Um, this could be a crush for some of you and it's incoming and new for a lot of this collective. The Knight of Cups doesn't seem so old. It feels like a fresh energy as I pull. Overall, can you connect me to the Justice card? Please and thank you. Can I get the Justice card? Can I get the Justice card feelings? Why do they feel that way toward Libra? 
thank you because you're healing and you're doing it successfully. When I tell you guys that there's something that's changed within you or your vibration has increasingly shifted over time, it's because this Six of Swords has been helping you completely accelerate. It's an acceleration of body, mind, and soul. I'm getting something about a garden at home. Maybe some of you have something like that. A garden where um, you share it online or something that's helping you heal. Could be a place that you go to. Six of Swords is like a sanctuary for me as a reader. Temperance to the King of Swords. Okay, so what I also see here, there's a great combination with this major arcana of Temperance and the King of Swords. I feel like the attraction that they have to you is almost as equally as the intellectual one. So there's a physical, okay, but the intellectual level of being with you is also, I don't know, it's like what I get is this person finds it equally stimulating between the two of you. Can I get a card on that? Why do I get that from the Temperance card? Ace of Wands? Okay, so it, you know how this card is viewed. Ace of Wands is having direct attraction to you, passion, a spark, maybe wanting to start a new chapter with you too. I'm charging my business phone here. It's for stocks. So if you see it light up, you'll see my stock ticker. <laughs> I love to kind of show you guys that. I'm going to do some clarifications for this last part of the video. The Ace of Wands is a new card for this afternoon. I would go ahead and say if this person is disconnected from you at this time, I'm very firm on this read because I see it clearly. They see you in your healing energy. Six of Swords is Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. So you feel at home here. This is like a home card for you guys or you're standing on home plate. And then the Page of Pentacles is wanting a friendship at the very least or skill development, developing a more than a friendship with you. You're going to hear about that. It's like even if it's taking a slow time, again, you had the slow card. Even if it's taken information to get to you slow, there's deeper feelings that are arising. Knight of Cups to the Page of Pentacles. And I repeat those cards if you ever hear me repeat a card, it's because I'm showing you the connection, okay? One card wants to pop out, better off happiness, clear headspace when you're in your single, I would say your single secure week. The part of your week where you take charge, your nine to five sets pace, there's practical events. Perspective is what you've gained. Maybe some of you are developing a new business or there's a new idea, okay? Um, the new idea could also be to go to holistic health things or to go to the gym more. So there's personal developments that are happening too. We have elusive, dishonesty, deception, and trickery. This person could be hiding or not telling you the full scope of their week or there's details missing. This is a person in hiding with the elusive card. That's for some of you. Can I get the major themes of today from Hearts Hidden Secrets? You have one here I can't see. We have third parties, which is coming back out. This person could be with third party people, friends, um, associates, family members that keep them away from your energy. Conflicted, hot and cold, multiple choices. Okay, this person can be hot and cold today or they're not being very direct with you. Or they could also be busy. That could be a busy card. In reality, in the 3D, you have to realize that your twin or the person that you're watching for is not necessarily so connected to the story. They might be taking a mental break. But I do think here, like some attachments, I do feel that in this afternoon reading and chasing. It says pursuit, toxicity and resilience. OK, so this is very like matrix involved. I do sense a busy energy with the two of these cards. OK disconnection um they're trying to make their way out of being elusive can i get what libra's side is okay we have thinking and we also have a card on the floor spark <laughs> is on the floor i don't take floor cards though but if you guys wanted to know what fell there it is the spark and attraction card you could be connecting to someone else too okay what are the overall feelings that we need to know what are the overall feelings and that's why like I'll bring you guys back to the King of Wands. That's why there's always attraction building around here is there's a connection trying to meet you or show you that this person finds you still um, alluring. You know, they keep coming back to you. A King of Wands will always do that. 
we have honest communication. This is the advice now. It says, expect a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming in. So from hiding, okay, and that's why I told you you're going to be hearing from them. There's a hideout card. The advice is an honest communication. Whoever is more willing to do this, okay? Some of you might want to be the one who pulls this honest communication. What's the rest of the advice? The rest of the advice for the first Vidya. Psychic connection. This is my telepathy card. Both of you are communicating. If this is a twin flame relationship and it's rather new or they've been your twin flame, you sense them. Okay. Tele uh, telepathy cat. <laughs> telepathy cad <laughs> the telepathy card with psychic connection your communication goes beyond mere words see i think this is going to transpire in the 3d it's already happening on the 5d level you can communicate with them or there's an ability to and then in the 3d it's going to actually happen with honest communicate i love this card let me flash it to you one more time and if both of you are more than, you know, twin flames, maybe there's a soulmate connection, you know that it's time for this to churn out, okay? Um, again, I'm not sensing the original person that you watched tarot for. This is a relationship that came in in the last few months for some of you. And we also have marriage. Wedding bells are ringing. This is like the Hierophant. It is a commitment that is coming in for you, okay? Um... For some reason, if you walked away and you're already looking for a new person, Libra's on the channel, there is a committal energy that also finds you as equally attractive, okay? It could be somebody that's completely different outside of the relationship that's going on here. I felt like you did deal with a King of Wands previously, and they're coming in to show you new beginning feelings. So that's what I have for this first one. This could be a situationship more so. I have a couple more videos trickling in for Saturday. And this is the first one out. Thank you guys.